Hello guys, welcome to Leaves and Lungs. So today's topic is going to be about on heterosis in the plant breeding series. So the first thing today we're going to see is about the definition of the heterosis. So the term heterosis has been defined in various forms uh, and in various topics. So uh, the actual definition is nothing but the superiority of the F1 hybrid over both of its parent in terms of the yield or some of the characters. So that is when two parents are crossed with each other. For example, imagine two parents that is a parent of length 10 meter and B parent of length 8 meter. Okay, so when they cross with each other, they will result in an offspring called C. So this is F1 hybrid. So when the length of the uh, F1 hybrid is like more than 10 meter and uh, more than 8 meter, that is, it will be like around a 13 to 15 meter. So the superiority of the F1 hybrid over both of the parents in terms of the length. Here the character is length. It is called as heterosis. So it is otherwise defined as increased vigor, increased growth, increased yield or function of a hybrid over the parent. So it will always result from the crossing of genetically unlike organisms. So that is two different character that is uh, two parents having different uh, varied uh, genetic uh, composition. So this is called as heterosis. So the term heterosis was first coined by Mr. Shull in 1914. But in some cases hybrid may be inferior also. So uh, even the production of the inferior breed is also called as heterosis. So heterosis doesn't uh, confine to only the production of a dominant or a superior hybrid. It can also result in inferior hybrid. So like there are like three methods of estimation of heterosis. One is mid parent heterosis, better parent heterosis and standard heterosis. We'll see each one by one. So the first thing is the estimation of the heterosis by mid parent method. So mid parent is nothing but okay. It's a midpoint between the two parents. So imagine this is a tree and this is a tree. So this is male and this is female. So when these two parents are crossed with each other. Okay. So like uh, say like this is 10 meter. This is 8 meter. The offspring will be like in between the two that is it can be like 9 meter. So uh, this is the heterosis estimated over the mid parent that is the mean value of the average of the two parent is known as mid parent heterosis. So it is otherwise known as uh, average heterosis or relative heterosis and it is calculated by the formula that is F1 minus midpoint divided by uh, midpoint into 100. So this is how mid parent heterosis is calculated. So uh, this is the definition that is the yield of the F1 will be like in between the two parents that is midpoint between the two parents. So the next thing is better parent heterosis. So uh, the heterosis is estimated over the better parent is known as better parent heterosis. It is otherwise known as heterobiltiosis. So it is calculated by the formula F1 minus better parent divided by better parent into 100. So uh, take the same example that is two parent that is 10 meter and one more parent is 8 meter. So when the uh, offspring that is F1 hybrid is like more than 10 meter that is 12 meter. This method of heterosis is called as better parent heterosis. So the term heterobeltiosis was used by Bitzer et al. in uh, 1968 to describe the uh, to describe the improvement of heterozygote over the better parent of the cross. So this is the second method of heterosis estimation. So the third thing is standard heterosis. So standard heterosis refers to the superiority of the F1 over the standard commercial check variety. So here the comparison is not between the offspring and the parents. It is compared with the standard commercial variety. So imagine this is a garden here. So the tallest plant in the garden will be like 16, 16 meter. Okay. So when the when the, whereas the two parent height will be like 10 to 8. So when these two parents are crossed with each other, they will get an height of about 17 meter. That is the height of the offspring is more than that of the standard commercial check variety. So it is called as economic heterosis or useful heterosis. So it is calculated by the formula like F1 minus check divided by check into 100. So uh, this heterosis will lead to increase in yield, reproductive ability and adaptability to various climate and stress and also for various disease resistance and insect resistance. So the general vigor, the quality, everything will be increased. For most of the characters, the desirable heterosis is positive and for some for like earliness, heightened cereals and toxic substances, there will be like negative heterosis also. So these are the three methods how heterosis is determined or classified. So the most important of the three is the standard heterosis where you get the crop superior than the commercial check variety itself. 
so various theories have been uh, uh, propounded to uh, explain the uh, phenomenon of heterosis the first one is like dominance theory over dominance hypothesis and next third is hepistasis so we'll look the theory one by one because this could be asked in your exams as well so the first thing is uh, dominance hypothesis so uh, here as the name itself implies that heterosis is mainly exhibited due to the presence of dominant alleles smashing the hell of recessive alleles so here the deleterious recessive genes of one parent is hidden by the dominant genes hence the characters of the recessive alleles is also hidden and so the dominant character will be expressed so this is how they exhibit heterosis so this theory was mainly proposed by davenport in 1908 mr bruce in 1910 and keebel and pelew in 1910 and also this is the most widely accepted hypothesis of heterosis so the next theory is over dominance hypothesis so here the over dominance hypothesis is mainly due to the production of superior hybrid substances so that is f1 hybrid will have substances that is completely different from either of the homozygous product that is the product that is received is not from the mother or not from the father it is totally different from either of the two parents also it can be due to the greater buffering capacity in the heterozygote resulting from cumulative action or divergent alleles or stimulation of the divergent alleles that is uh, the various div divergent allele will combine together to produce a totalitative action or stimulation of the divergent alleles may be also a phenomenon in producing over dominance so uh, this theory was independently proposed by mr shell and ease in 1908 and uh, it was supported by hull in 1945 so this theory was given by various names such as uh, cumulative action of divergent alleles single gene heterosis superior super dominance and over dominance so this is the second theory explaining the phenomenon of heterosis so the third important uh, theory is epistasis so here epistasis is nothing but it refers to the interaction between the alleles of two or more different loci very very important just remember the definition alone so it is also known as non allelic interaction so uh, the dominance effect is mainly produced due to the presence of uh, non allelic interaction of the type dominance into dominance so this is the type of interaction that will give the uh, greater beneficial effects or greater hetero heterosis effect so there are, there are like various biometrical models for detecting the epistasis in the plants so what are the effect of heterosis so when the plant undergoes heterosis it obviously the yield of the plant will be increased and also the reproductive ability of the plant is also increased uh, and uh, the general size and vigor will also be uh, up and like the quality will be much much better than the parents and also like early flowering and maturity the next is greater resistance to disease and pest and a greater adaptability to various uh, climatic conditions environmental factors like stress snowfall everything uh, and uh, increased temperature everything and also like it enhances the growth rate of the plants and finally number of plant parts that is increase in the number of buds it produce flowers it produce fruits it can produce so this is what the manifestation of heterosis in a plant will be so the use of heterosis in plant breeding is very very simple since the principle of heterosis is producing superior hybrid the uses of the plant breeding will be revolved around the development of hybrids so it is like used in various plants seed production of cross pollinated crops like jowar maize bajra onion and cucurbits and also some self pollinated species like rice wheat tomato and brinjal so you can write lot of uh, points relating uh, like uh, production of uh, res various disease resistant pest resistant climate resistant you can write all the manifestation has uses if the question has been asked in your exams so guys that puts end to today's topic so i hope you enjoyed uh, atrosis very much So this is one of the question that has been frequently asked in your exams. So do focus on the theories and do focus upon the methods of estimation of heterosis. So we'll see in another lecture. Have an awesome day.